everybody this is Excalibur and welcome to portal um, I attempted to record this before and uh, we're gonna start uh, from where I left off last time <laughs> actually no I'm gonna start a new game because well I am a masochist and the game's not all that bad um, I'm not going to talk when GLaDOS speaks that's the robotic voice you'll hear You'll hear GLaDOS talking, and uh, here we go. Let's flush the toilet, because... Your business is appreciated. Hello, and again, welcome to the Aperture Science Computer Aided Enrichment Center. We hope your brief detention in the relaxation vault has been a pleasant one. Your specimen has been processed, and we are now ready to begin the test proper. Before we start, however, keep in mind that although fun and learning are the primary goals of all Enrichment Center activities, serious injuries may occur. For your own safety and the safety of others, Please refrain from it. What was the portal? Don't they find a portal? Turn back. The portal will open in three, two, one. Okay, so that's our character over there. And uh, you can see I am holding a cup three to five feet in front of me. And it's our goal to follow this test for as long as we can follow it. Oh, I broke the cup. Let's grab the cube. And sorry if there's tearing. Huh? Excellent. Please proceed into the chamber lock after completing each test. First, however, note the incandescent particle field across the exit. This Aperture Science Material Emancipation Grill will vaporize any unauthorized equipment that passes through it. For instance, the Aperture Science Weighted Storage Cube. So there we go. I just lost the coffee cup because, uh, well, I brought it through the, the Ace Mag. Yes, I said it. There we go. Um... Oh man, the tearing is horrible, horrible, horrible. Now, I'm gonna come Please down here. Please the weighted storage cube on the 1500 megawatt aperture science heavy duty super colliding super button. I'm gonna wait for this to go to that. I'm gonna step through. So here we're gonna go grab that, and then it goes onto the button. We're gonna drop it off. There Perfect. we go. Whoa. Please move quickly to the chamber lock, as the effects of prolonged exposure to the button are not part of this test. Okay. Open up this. Come on. Then open up the portal. There we go, we can exit. Huh. I've never noticed this tearing before. I think we're going up each time. It's a guess. You're doing very well. Please be advised that a noticeable taste of blood is not part of any test protocol, but is an unintended side effect of the Aperture Science Material Emancipation Grip which may, in semi-rare cases, emancipate dental fillings, crowns, tooth enamel, and teeth. While wow, that camera is constantly looking at me. Let's get our portal gun. Very good. You are now in possession of the Aperture Science handheld portal device. With it, you can create your own portals. These intradimensional gates have proven to be completely safe. The device, however, has not. Do not touch the operational end of the device. Do not look directly at the operational end of the device. Do not submerge the device in liquid, even partially. Most importantly, under no circumstances should you... Yeah. Should you shoot at the moon? Because bad things will happen with the gravity. Uh, not gravity, it's actually void. 
because the atmosphere on the moon is less than that of the earth we get sucked through the portal and on to the moon and die we die please proceed to the chamber lock mind the gap kith get my ugly pants Well done. Remember, the aperture science bring your daughter to work day is the perfect time to have her tested. Hello, Leela. Alright, so we're just gonna go through and go through and go through. This is... Oh boy, I forgot to set the episode timer. I think we can get to like level 10 in this amount of time. So I'm just gonna reset the timer and go half that. Welcome to test uh, chamber 4. Yeah, yeah. You're doing quite well. Once again, excellent work. As part of our required test protocol, we will not monitor the next test chamber. You will be entirely on your own. Good luck. Lies. Lies. GLaDOS is always watching me. I do like the Aperture Labs logo. Alright, so let's go ahead and get over there. Let's not walk off this time, shall we? There we go. Come on. And let's get this guy here. Margu. And that's how it works. The physics in this are pretty good, actually. I, I really like it. As part of a required test protocol, our previous statement suggesting that we would not monitor this chamber was an outright fabrication. Good job. As part of a required test protocol, we will stop enhancing the truth in three, two, one. I wonder what would happen if she and Hal got into an argument, a lover spat. <laughs> and I'm paused as we load. All right, now we've got the high energy particle accelerator. While safety is one of many enrichment center goals, the aperture science high energy pellet seen to the left of the chamber can and has caused permanent unbelievable. You, subject name here, must be the pride of subject from ground here. Oh, okay, I see what was going on. You, subject name here. We don't have a name, we are the nameless portal user. And I've gone through these puzzles before, so I sort of know what's going on. Sort of. Warning devices are required on all mobile equipment. However, alarms and flashing hazard lights have been found to agitate. Good. Now use the aperture size on stationary scaffold to reach the chamber. Ah. That's a pupe thing. I wasn't fast enough. Let's reset the portal. So when this thing comes back, we can just drop down and have a fun day. All right, and we're gonna ride this didgeridoo, and then hop on over here. The jumping is kind of weird. It's not like Minecraft where it's uh, not real physics, so to speak. So uh, you have an I have an issue going left and right, side to side, back and forward, and up and down, and all that junk. Yippity, yippee, 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 yippee. So this floor Please is. Please know that death. we have added a consequence for failure. Any contact with the chamber floor will result in an unsatisfactory mark on your official testing record, followed by death. Good luck. So we hit there. The thing's gonna go here. Right there. Oh. Um. 
Let's do that. And then it'll catch. Uh, and we can go over here, just like this. Look out, that will knock us off. And what I'm going to do is put the pole right there. And then I'm going to duck just in case that fires. As soon as I see that drop down, woo! There we go. I'm going to duck down again. I know it's caught it. Because you can see it right there. And we don't want to die in the Very floor. impressive. Please note that any appearance of danger is merely a device to enhance your testing experience. Why, thank you. Thank you, that's, that's exactly what I was hoping. <clears throat> Laboratories. Yep. Apparatory. And there is no spelling mistake there. Okay, now... The Enrichment Center regrets to inform you that this next test is impossible. Make no attempt to solve it. Alright, so... What we're going to do is this. Pick that up. And... Go like that, I think. The Enrichment Center apologizes for this clearly broken test chamber. Fantastic. You remain resolute and resourceful in an atmosphere of extreme pessimism. Uh, and this here is set up so that um, you can't get the duty through. It disintegrates the cube. That's what that's about. Woo! And I am not... That's the first time I've seen the thing actually come down. So, I guess we rock it up. Let's watch the light. Will it go up or down? goes down, so we're going up. Uh, okay, and loading. Here we go again. I wonder how far I can get in this game. I'm sure you guys have played it before. Hello again. To reiterate, <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna do this and hop on in to get across. Spectacular. You appear to understand how a portal affects forward momentum, or to be more precise, how it does not. Okay, I have this issue of holding shift when I get next to a place like this, but that doesn't work here. Momentum. A function of mass and velocity is conserved between portals. In layman's terms, speedy thing goes in, speedy thing comes out. Speedy thing goes in, speedy thing goes out, and we need to be about right here. Woo! So each of these levels is teaching us a bit about the physics of the game and how we can use physics and um acceleration, velocity, and the different portals and angles and stuff like that to get around. And uh, that's uh, the big thing about the entire game. I think this is where we go to get the other parts. The Enrichment Center promises to always provide a safe testing environment. In dangerous testing environments, the Enrichment Center promises to always provide useful advice. For instance, the floor here will kill you. Try to avoid it. And now we come through here. Now we've got that guy over there, so we hit E and we do that. And I'm going to see what happens if we can go through. I don't think we can. Oh, there we go. And then we're going to go ahead and do this. I'm going to watch as that energy pellet. Which has disappeared. I don't know. Oh, yeah, it's already gone through. So now... 
You have to go in here. And we're gonna get that. That's what we're looking for. The device has been modified so that it can now manufacture two linked portals at once. As part of an optional test protocol, we are pleased to present an amusing fact. The device is now more valuable than the organs and combined incomes of everyone in. Subject phone call, here. <laughs> Uh, this is some really awesome commentary. I think I can just walk right on it. And we'll take the didgeridoo platform back. And uh, the graphics, even though it's an older game, are still pretty good. I like the swirly swirlies. And there we go. We've got a new... And I think this upgrades, um, and I think there are different types of portal guns, uh, at least based on the Minecraft mod that I've played. Woo! We'll go through just a little bit more, we'll take a look at this, and see just how badly I do. See, yeah. So, we're going to fling ourselves, right like so and get from base to base like so and we have to get up there so I think we do this and then we can come down here and do that go throw us over here we can grab this. And turn... Whoops, turn this thing on. There we go. And there's our exit. And then we jump down. Well, that's not going to do it. Let's try it again. We... Alright, I'm not going to go any farther than this. We're going to see what happens next time. So, enjoy playing games. Enjoy playing Portal. Um, please like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps me to know that you guys are watching my stuff. And uh, also, let me know what you like to see, what you like about what I'm doing. Um, if you hated what I'm doing, just let me know as well. I take any and all um, comments. Um, just keep it on topic and nice um, as in uh, this is an attempt to make this a family based channel I may swear from time to time I try to edit them out but sometimes I miss swear words but for the most part this is a family based channel my four-year-old son tends to watch with me from time to time when he wants to know what games daddy is playing so uh, if you could please keep it clean in the comments anyway. Um, and uh, also if you could visit www.patreon.com slash ExcaliburZone and become a patron. Um, there are rewards associated with being a patron like getting a shout out and videos and um, getting mugs and uh, monument statues and my monument world and everything. And... Uh, it really helps me get closer and closer to doing this full time and uh, it's only a dollar a month is the minimum amount I ask for it's the minimum they let me ask for and uh, that's one step closer one step it's less than a coffee less than a soda and less than a candy bar here in the states each individual um, and if you can sacrifice just one of those a month and funnel that dollar to me then I would be greatly appreciated because then I can make more content for you and it's a win-win on both ends uh, as always this is Excalibur and I am out